Alright, change the lights in the background because that blue is a little too bright. But we're good. Alright, let's see what we've got here. I don't know what that is. Can we talk to him? Hey, oh, we can. Shit! Are you trying to give me another heart attack? No. no. <laughs> I just. It was rhetorical, for God's sake. Come on, don't look so lost. Take a look around or something. You know, spy a little. It's not like anyone's gonna stop you. That is very true. Uh, I don't think there's any fish in the fish tank. Sure, you saw the whole thing, and that it's makes you special. Thing. Always We're looking out the window, down. sticking your nose in everyone else's business. I think we've got enough nightmares to last us a while. I don't think we can do that yet. I'm happy to stop talking. I'm trying oh, wait, to maybe? show you now. Yeah, I don't think we have the ability to make things appear yet. Mind read. For a man, won't even get out of his chair. Like a chair more than me. I think this is Lady Hess with the door, right? Maybe if I stopped bringing him snacks, he might look around the room to see if I was still here. Well, that's just rude. Staring out the window. What good's that gonna do? You get a better view of the street on TV. Mm hmm. Ah, oh, we can't do anything with that either. Right, so, this is the door that we came in earlier. Laundry. Room? Oh. A watery grave. Oh yeah, you have to like get stories, don't you? Okay, we can't go that way. So, in this playthrough, we're going to try and collect everything. Everything there is to collect, hopefully. I'm so confused. If I can just find it, then at least I'll know what happened. I've looked everywhere. Why did they do this to me? What if I never find it? If I only knew who it was, maybe I'd know where to look. You okay? You look lost. What's lost is my body. I know I got killed right here. And I know it sounds crazy, but but I'd feel a lot better if if I knew where my body was. Are you a detective or something? Well, I was. You might be my only hope. 
yeah, now I am just dead. Any idea who did it? That might lead us to your body. I know they were old people. And I know they lived in this apartment building. Other than that, everything is hazy. But I was doing a lot of drugs at the time. Well. Sounds like you do need a detective. I'll see what I can find out from any older residents in the building. Do you think an older couple in the building murdered her? I should try to find some information from any of the older residents. Well, that is some bad luck. Alright, let's go back to here. I don't think there was anything to reveal in here. What do they know about the murder of the girl in the laundry room? Hmm. Gardening tools. Shovels, gloves, fertilizer, hobby, or homicide. Oh. <laughs> well, okay then. Note. The neighbor left town in a hurry. Maybe they had something to do with it. Hmm. What was that? Error. Nope. 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 Kids are always breaking into the quarry. Why take such an interest in this one? Oh, maybe that's where her body is. Mm. Well, there's nothing in there. Alright. Influence. Um... Uh, let's try this one. Finally, some peace and quiet. All her parties. How can anyone sleep through music blasting like that? I think she was on drugs. Walter was so tired, he could barely stay awake for the five miles it took to drive to Smithwick Quarry. I couldn't believe he was able to find a pair of lock cutters that late at night. At least the music has stopped. Now we can finally sleep. Mm-hmm. Looks like the old man had something to do with the girl's murder, but why drive all the way to Smithwick Quarry? Let's find out. Maybe? Nope. That girl collapsed like paper when Grace hit her. I still can't believe she died. It happened so fast. Oh. I've never seen Grace so crazy before. It must have been the lack of sleep. Thank God it's all over. I can finally watch TV in peace. Hmm. Apparently his wife had a bit of a temper. If she murdered that girl, where's the body? I think we've already worked that out where the body is. Dude, there's a ghost in your bathroom. Just saying.
Ah, that's creepy. This has to do something, right? Yep. Nope. Didn't want. Didn't want to do that. Didn't want to do that. Hmm. Okay. I think. Oh, you have to do three, right? So. The old women's secret. Gotta be that. Ah, yeah. Maybe the old women's secret and the old man's secret? And the gardening tools? Nope. <laughs> we got like one more try. <laughs> uh, maybe it's just the mysterious murder? <laughs> yep. Huh. Simple as that. Like Gray's. The girl was murdered by the couple who live in apartment 1A just because of her loud parties. They dumped her body at Smithwick Quarry. She didn't take the girl's partying anymore, so she killed her and roped her husband into helping dump the body at Smithwick Quarry. This deep man, this deep. Have we do this yet? Ugh, no. Oh, hey, girl. I found out what happened to you. Turns out, the reason you can't find your body is because it's not in the building. It's at Smithwood Quarry, about five miles out of town. Oh, well, why'd they do it? Because you was too Part damn loud. They <laughs> finally got too tired and snapped. I thought they were just being unreasonable. I didn't know they would do this. <sighs> Thanks for your help. You have no idea how big a relief it is just knowing. No problem. You know, I never really liked cops. And they were always giving me shit, telling me how I was messing up my life. We never saw eye to eye on things. But you really came through for me. Probably should have listened to what they were trying to tell me. Maybe then things wouldn't have ended up like this. Thanks again. Why is that doing that? I apologize if there's been an echo. My desktop audio was recording something. I don't know what. Play whatever it is will disappear now. Alright, so let's go back out here. Oh god, there's a wall. And we'll follow this round now. Info about my killer. While police are not pointing to a serial killer in the face of a string of deaths, they are advising people to stay at home at night and to keep doors locked while at home. Oh my god, they call those collectibles. Whew. It's gonna be fun! Honey, they can probably hear you talking through the ceiling. I hope they do. Eh? Yeah. Though the city of Salem has seen its rate of violent deaths increase sharply in the past few months, the Salem Police Department is unwilling to state officially that the deaths are connected. It's been a rough couple of months, said SPD spokesperson Ingrid Larson, but it would be irresponsible to jump to conclusions about any of these deaths, much less a connection between them. We are investigating each of these thoroughly and making judgments based purely on the evidence. Every time we visit Jennifer in this place, it's the same weird characters. That other lady on the second floor, she changes boyfriends like she changes sweaters. And my goodness, the racket. I know that upsets you, dear. And you know what else? Those guys on the third floor? You think they, they, they were trying to raise the dead? Speaking of dead, I'm pretty sure I heard shots outside. 
God, I wish she'd move out of this neighborhood. Are you listening to me? I need you to listen to me. Yeah, sorry, Jerry. Raise the dead. G give them shots. Yes. <laughs> okay. Can't wait for Jennifer to move out of this dump. My granddaughter needs a yard. Where does she play? The street? Maybe. Gus needs some friends. Someone else who can listen to him yammer. Hope he doesn't ask any questions. He'll know I've tuned him out. Awkward. <laughs> All right, let's just double check that we haven't missed anything because I don't want to miss anything. All right, let's move on. I don't see anything else here. I can't remember what those symbols on the floor mean. Oh, hello. Oh, we need some more still. Oh, hey there. What you doing? Hey, hey. How the hell did it come back? Did I do that? Hey, hey. Come back. Those notes aren't for you. Great. Looks like some sort of code or something. Hmm. Well, I made it up to the fourth floor before the police cart away the evidence. Alright, if I remember correctly, there are demons on one of these floors, <laughs> and I don't remember which one it is. And they scare me. Because sometimes they are really freaking loud. Oh, hey! <gasps> Donuts! They've got donuts. Well, some Maybe Can I play? Tricks, eh? That I couldn't keep taking your lunch money, big guy. All right. Pull up your panties, gentlemen, and throw in some chips, Nate. Keep cool, big boy. Next hand, you take her down. <laughs> A few more good cards would help. Good lord, these boys are easy pickings. Poor guys. I remember when I still thought poker was a game of chance. Hmm. Oh, he's not letting us see his cards. I win, but she's just gonna win anyway. I never know if she likes me or she's just being nice. Ah. Uh, so this guy's letting her win. All right, you guys are boring. So goodbye. Making everybody die of old age, that's one strategy. You must have a really strong hand, you can't decide to play or not. <laughs> oh hey, look at the T Rex. Hey there. Bye. So, Do you know the serial killer? The details are still emerging, but for now. 
Okay, the demons must be on this floor. This sucks. <laughs> Hey, what's for dinner, lady? Maybe she's getting too much sugar. I mean, that keeps kids awake, right? Just once, I'd like to have a nice phone conversation with an adult without interruption. Okay. My murder is on tally. Buddy, what are you doing? The bunny wabbit is creepy. Dude. Why are you in the closet? <laughs> How does a monster like you end up in a kid's closet? Her daddy pissed off the wrong people. I was the one sent to uh, expedite things. It was simple. I grabbed the girl, make a few threats, collect the money, then let her go. What went wrong? Her daddy tried to be a hero and got in my way. Looks like it worked. Mm. He got him killed is what it did. Oh. If you killed him, then what happened to you? The people I worked for weren't big on second chances. But it looks like I'll get one anyway. I just have to wait. Death comes for us all. Little girls are no exception. That's creepy. Does he say anything else? I've got nothing but time, my friend. Okay, well, I'll leave you to it, weirdo. Oh, what a mess. Alright, let's go. I don't want to be here anymore. Ever. Uh, lady, I should let you know there's a creepy ghost in your daughter's closet. You might want to look into that. Oh god, it's making creepy noises. I don't like that. Cause I know what's coming. <laughs> nope. No, thank you. See you, dude. Alright, if demons find you, they will hunt you down and suck your soul. Escape from demons. The residue of ghost souls hides your presence from demons. You can move between hide objects to avoid demons.
demons can't find you for a while, they will stop checking and leave. Oh. Approaching demons. Hold RB to see demons through walls. Remember to always approach a demon carefully. Yeah, how about no? Okay, so he's over there. Yep. Well, time to leave and never come back. Yep, that's what we'll do. Leave and never come back. Ooh. Now, if I remember correctly, you can actually execute them if they don't see you. So... I don't know if he turns ever. It doesn't look like he does. Execute the demon. You must approach the demon from behind if you want to execute it. Holding RT will attempt an execution. Get the back demon! Oh yes. <laughs> I have executed the demon. Oh god. There's plenty more where that came from. Okay, so there looks to be at least two here. Well, he comes this way and the other one goes that way. I will take a quick break because I have to take my cat to the vet right now. So, when I return, we shall go and do some more demon hunting. <laughs> <laughs> 